Hi, this is Cousin Russ. I'm going to uh, give another short, short subject video on Family Tree Maker 2019. As usual, I'd like to start in the planned workspace and go from there. Uh, so I'm going to go to the planned workspace and a new feature in the planned workspace is Family Search 2.0. This is be part one because I will show you how it appear how you can download your information from family search so here we go i'm going to go to family tree maker and this is the plan workspace and this is we know enter what you know or import from a existing file download a tree from ancestry and the new feature is download a tree from family search now since i'm logged into family search in the upper right hand corner it knows my family search ID. So what I'm going to do is it's asking for the number of site uh, generations and I'm going to put three generations back from me, two generations uh, descended from me, and there should probably only be one. And here's an, a, a cool feature is to include ancestors descendants. So it will not just bring out the seven, third generation descendants back to me because it's, it's going up from me to the third generation, but it's also going to give the descendants, and I said two generations uh, of ancestors descendants. You can call the file whatever you want, and I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to add the date so I know when I did this for the file name, I always can change it later. later. So I'm going to hit continue. This should go pretty quick. So I could continue and it's downloading people and it's up to 60, 70, uh, probably into about 97 people. Now it's analyzing the data that's coming down and here we go. So this is uh, the data of, for 97 people that was downloaded from Family Search Family Tree. Remember that Family Search Family Tree is a community tree. Uh, it is not ours. The good news is now this file is mine on my desktop computer. Let me go to the plan workspace and see what actually was brought down. I'm going to click more. And there was 97 people, 40 marriages, four generations, 40 surnames, uh, 860 facts, 226 places, one source. That one source is not using the Family Tree Maker source template feature. There's 477 citations. So just by looking at here, I would then go to the places workspace uh, to see these place names. It says 226. I'm going to guess that uh, place names are not as standard on Family Search as Family Tree Maker wants it. Uh, the citations, I'm going to guess that we're going to find a number of uh, facts, a number of pages of facts that have that are not documented with a citation. I won't go into that right now, but I just wanted to point out that you will want to clean up your database when you're done uh, using uh, Family Tree Maker and its features. So if you've done a lot of work and research on Family Search, Family Trees, the community tree at familysearch.org, then you will have that data. Uh, onto your computer in Family Tree Maker where you can work on it from there. So there you go. If you have any questions, leave it in the blog post and I'll try to respond as I'm able and either answer it online or do uh, another blog post. Thank you and have a great day.